Hello and welcome to another Source Gaming Discussion. I'm your host today, Nan Tenjex, and joining me is Spazzy D. Hey guys! And we have a very special guest joining us as well, it is Nintendon. Hello everybody! It's been a while, I think, since you've been on a discussion with us. Actually, yes, it's yeah. been quite a while, honestly, yeah. Yeah, we, we, it needs to happen more often, to be honest. <laughs> for sure, yeah. <laughs> But we I feel like we've been saving all of our guests for, for <laughs> Good Morning Source Gaming. We need to get them That is on, true. On get them all the uh, podcasts. Well, this is, it's, very, it's good to say special discussions like this one, because it has been one year since Super Smash Bros. Ultimate graced our uh, Switches, and it's, I think it's time to talk about that, like a Smash year in retrospective. Because it's right. it's weird to think that it's only been a year. I think part of that might be because of how quickly the Smash Ultimate, like from reveal to release cycle, actually was. Like mm. it's been more time since Smash Ultimate released than there was time from us knowing about the game to being able to play it. It's a, it's yeah, a fair, weird thought yeah. <laughs> compared to all the previous games. Yeah. And and with DLC, it still feels like with DLC happening so fast. It still feels like we're we're in that speculation period. It's, it's yeah, <laughs> it's, it still feels like it's really really new. And yeah, it's been a year. So I thought we would just sort of reflect on the game now that it's been out for for that long of time, and go back to our thoughts from a year ago in 2018, and whether we not like we still hold those same opinions as we do now. What is there stuff in there that has improved in our eyes now that we've had more time to let it soak in? Is there stuff that we're a bit disappointed in now that we've had a bit more time? And Don, how about you? What, what is there anything from Smash Ultimate that you really enjoy more or enjoy less? I mean, uh, we can talk to this because we had multiple discussions before this game came out and I actually got to play it like the, the final demo build with all the characters mm. at two events back to back so you guys got I gave you basically gave the scoop in the discussion here yeah. um, but like the the basics of the game like playing through with the characters and seeing everything through to the end and battling it it's still amazing I, I really like it um, I am far more down on spirits than I was before launch mm. Uh, and it mostly comes down to World of Light. I think the Spirit of Battles on themselves are, is fine. I think that World of Light is A, way too long, and B, um, drags at multiple moments for its campaign. Mm. Yeah, I think I think I agree on, on that. Uh, uh, with, regarding the Spirit Battles in general, I actually think they've gone up a bit in my books, the idea of Spirits, because... Mm. I was a mad fan of the trophies. I loved the trophies and stickers and stuff in the last <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, I, 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 th I think that standalone spirit battles are still fine. I just mm. think that World of Light, right, even a year yeah. on, doesn't really hold up in my mind. Some of the spirit battles are pretty creative too. Even the new ones, the uh, Resident Evil ones that were just released a, a little while ago, mm. were all right. Mm. Really good. I like that in Leon's battle, it's in Gerudo Valley, and you have villagers attacking you because mm -hmm. Resident yeah. Evil Four, <laughs> I thought was great. Um, yeah. My my biggest problem with spirits, honestly, is it, they don't feel fun to collect. Because I get Leon Kennedy, for instance, but I don't even get like a little blurb saying from Resident Evil Four, he's the protagonist, blah blah blah. Like just having a little. And I know it's difficult with so many spirits, but without any context, it just doesn't feel fun collecting them. Hmm. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I, I, I see. I'm, I'm a bit mixy. I agree with you on that regarding spirits, and I agree with Dan in regarding the world of light and how really long it is. Like, I try to replay that in order to get enough of the uh, smash po spirit points so that you, I could fuse more spirits to get the whole collection. And replaying that a second time is just not fun <laughs> at <No>. all. <laughs> like, I was no. like, it was like a slog to try and get to the certain spots of the map where I knew I could get loads of those points at once, usually the boss areas. And it's just the, really The tough. special areas were nice. Yeah, 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 for sure. I like the, I like the map. I, I like the Street Fighter area is still one of my favourite areas because where you just have the literal map of from Street Fighter 2 and you fly across on a plane. Yeah, and all the battles are HP, HP battles, which is cool. Yeah. Um, but there are still moments in there where I just think from, this feels like a waste of time. 
Mm-hmm. Like, I thought Castlevania was really nice that you went through actual Dracula's castle. Like, I, yeah. I thought that was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, it just it kind of wished that there were easier ways to get to the bosses. But um, just to finish my thought before I go on to that. Sorry. Is, um, <laughs> regarding the actual spirits themselves, I... I kind of they're growing they growed on me like I think it's the fact that they've been updating them since launch right like at, at launch I was disappointed that the spirits didn't have uh, the th- um, descriptions like you said and they were just you know PNGs that you could find online and I feel like the only benefit to having them be spirits was the fact that you could get really obscure characters that don't have 3D models but do have artwork, like the girl from I mean, Hachimino Mori. from Nintendo History, and... there also are a bunch of spirits that don't really have artwork widely available online. It's the first time you actually see them in proper artwork. Yeah, that um, as well. So for example, there's a Desire game called Chichitaj and Number Battles, um, mm. and the only way you would know his name is from the tutorial, and they straight up gi- give you the name, and also a PNG that never appears actually online somewhere. Yeah, like that's cool. Uh, Project Hacker has the same thing. It gives you a PNG of the main character of that game, which is something I'd never ever seen. There was only like one character from that game that I even knew about, which is like his assistant, because it's always done from his perspective, so you never really uh, see what he looks like. But apparently, he had artwork, and this artwork is now in Smash. So Uh, stuff like that, I really liked, and I think because they're PNGs as well. They could, and they also come with their own little battles, which makes them a little bit more fun to get than trophies. That they could keep updating them post game and keep it up. Like you said, there's the Resident Evil ones, but there have been Damon X Machina ones, Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield ones, Labo had one, Link's Awakening had one. Like I like that they're slowly updating them, and or oh, they're actually getting more frequent at the moment. I don't know what sort of kicking off that they've they've had like consistently. Uh, trophy matches almost every few weeks uh, not trophy uh, spirit battles every few weeks which is pretty nice right but, uh, I, I i like that it's allowing for more content and allowing for more games to be represented in smash mm. and and I, I, I like the spirit battles themselves actually like the, the, the like you're saying with the resident evil one the way they represent different uh games and like specific scenarios from said game is a really nice throwback. I think they've done well for them. And it's a good replacement for event matches as well. But, mm-hmm. but go, yeah, um, to go back to the bosses that thing that I mentioned, though, uh, is a, it is a bit of a shame that there's no real way to fight the bosses easily, like, other than, um, uh, other you have, than you classic mode. In, in, in World of Light, you can just go back to the final fight and just do that little boss rush, but that's about it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Like it's a shame because like I don't want to have to replay um, World of Light to, <laughs> to 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 do those fights like fight Dracula with Lucario or whatever, like because <laughs> you can't. Yeah, do that I in think bosses in set. general are kind of a missed opportunity in the Smash. Like I feel like you could have like the bosses that are there are great, mm, yeah. um, but I just feel like there there could have been more. There should have been more, and and it's kind of hard to say that because I feel like that's my entire thoughts on. Smash Ultimate, the base Smash Ultimate as it is, is that this is Smash Brothers, but Ultimate. And it is. It has so much in it. But at the same time, you feel like so many aspects of it, there just wasn't quite enough. Like, there needed to be I feel like more bosses. And I feel like there there probably should have been more new stages. I get the characters, but as far as... St- and I know that they brought it back a for, lot. They had to redo a lot yeah. of melee stages from the ground up. But th- there just wasn't that many... For someone that's a big fan of Smash Brothers, like, for instance, I have a lot of friends that are a little bit more into Smash on a casual basis, and uh, they didn't have the 3DS version of Smash, so you just had the Wii U version. So if you only had one version of the last Smash, then you have a whole bunch of new stages because you have the other, <laughs> you know, the other batch of stages. And there are people that I know, like this is their, they, they had Brawl and then they skipped Wii U and 3DS and then this game was amazing as far as that goes. But it still felt like, as somebody who puts so many hours into both the 3DS and Wii U version of uh, Smash, that there wasn't that much that felt fresh when it first launched. And I, I know that's kind of uh, an entitled thing to say because there's so much content, but like, I did I mean, I'm just being honest. I did kind of have that feeling, uh, especially with stages. Yeah. Uh, for me, like, initially, the first weekend that I got the game, 
I went through all the routes in classic mode to unlock every single character. Mm. Um, so I didn't do the, the World of Light way. I purely did it through classic battles. And while that was a struggle, especially with the harsh AI that you had to face at the beginning <laughs> pre-patch. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I, I did feel that I saw everything I wanted to see within those classic battles. Like, I saw already yes. every boss and every single little detail that could potentially be in World of Light outside of, like, the map itself. Mm-hmm. Um, and for me, sort of the problem there is, once I did either one, I feel that... I would just go simply into battle mode and not do anything else. Right. Classic mode, um, I th- I would say that this is probably my favorite classic mode out of all yes. Smash classic yes. modes. Yeah, and it's uh, and it's honestly the best single player content in Smash Ultimate are the classic modes. <laughs> I think the I think the uniqueness of every single route really helps that you know. Oh, I, it um, does. 100%. I I, I, th- I think what they do with every single route, like having, for example, double battles with uh, the ice climbers or what have you, it's it's really well done, and I really appreciate what they're doing with it. But why is the bonus game every single time the Oof. same? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, if, if they had done it, um, and we were talking about this uh, a little bit before, if they had added, like, oh, some people get break the target, some people get board the platform, some people get this, some people get that, because when you're chaining it back to back to back and you keep doing that same bonus, and I'm not even, I'll be honest, what does what does the high score get you? Just more spirits and resources when you uh, Yeah, when you, you finish, think so. just get more points and more rewards at the end of it. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, and after a while, especially if you've already done World of Light, you really don't care about that. So, you know, the, the fact that you had to do that same one over and over and over again is is just so boring. Um, and the, the, really the only two problems I had with Classic Mode are that, the how many characters used Master Hand and Crazy Hands? Like, mm. that, that, that's a big it, issue for me. Like, because there's yeah. still characters like Roy, whose whole he gimmick could have is had that Ganon. he fights characters who, <laughs> yeah, fight, fights characters who use swords, but he still ends up fighting Master Hand and Crazy Hand at the end when, yeah, you're right, yeah. he fought Ganon. Uh, uh, like, it, it, did, it, it, is, does, it, do, it does seem like you know. I get them using Master Hand and Crazy Hand for characters who didn't have any fitting boss, but some of them do, and it just feels like it's a lazy um, decision to just rely on Master Hand and Crazy. And Hand. others just have um, like battles against multiple characters instead of a regular boss, which is also kind of funny. Yeah, I, I yeah. actually don't mind that when it make like it makes sense. Like Ben fights like um, Palatina. Yeah, I think Mega Man fights uh, someone. I think someone he, has Mewtwo as their last boss. Me- I'm trying to remember. Mega who it Man is has there. the best, the best because he fights. Uh, what's a what's a dude from Brawl's name? The giant robot. Rob. Oh well, uh, Gal- uh, G- um, oh, uh, Gallium. Gallium, yeah. So he fights Gallium before his final fight because he and then he fights Doctor Wily, yeah. and Doctor <laughs> Wily is just Doctor Mario. And then when you beat <laughs> Dr. Mario, Mewtwo comes, because it's a That's reference it. to the final battle in Mega Man 2, where Wily is the fake alien. Like, <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's one of my favorite classic modes. It's so stupid. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. well, I, I like that. There were some where like, you fight Rathalos is like, the second to last one before fighting someone else. And I'm pretty yeah. sure, like, it doesn't... Uh, Donkey Kong has you fight Mario at the end, doesn't it? Because it's like Road yep. to New Donkey yeah. City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you fight a boss before then. Terry's has you fight Ryu, Ken, and um, honestly, Terry as think, well. <laughs> yeah, honestly, you think there's in classic mode a lot more highlights than lowlights comparison to mm. World of Light. Yeah, and I think, um, and that's where I think that's where I'm thinking that they could use more bosses. It's just if they had like, and I, I don't want to seem like I'm complaining because yeah. once again, there's a lot. But if they had like four or five more bosses, like that would have added so much more variety mm. to classic mode and to World of Light. Um, I like World of Light the first time through. It's just too long. Like if if it, if it if they had taken the best parts of the World of Light and World of Dark and just put it into one map and cut it in half, I it would be have been a much more enjoyable experience. Yeah, it would be far better. Like a 10, 11 hour mode would have been better than the twenty two hours you end up with. Yeah, yep. I agree. Yeah, because it's not like yeah. they use every spirit in World of Light anyway. So there's yeah. still a bunch of spirit battles that are exclusive to the spirit board. Right. I, I I honestly think that there still hasn't been an ideal adventure mode in any Smash game. <laughs> <But> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. See, uh, I think having a combination of Melee's one with Smash Run would have been probably the better. 
because uh, the, the problem with melees is it gets repetitive as well and the second yeah. half is all just clearly just fights while the first half is mo- a lot of platforming but if they had it like the classic mode in this where certain characters have optional things and they just made like different routes or they had it like the smash 3ds one we had optional pathways to go down like to change I, up I the think, routes. I think if you, because uh, I'm I'm one of those people that just didn't really like Subspace Emissary. Like going back and trying <laughs> to play it, those platforming elements for that amount of time just don't work using Smash Engine. Like it just it's it gets boring after a while. I, it's always about that time where Zero Suit Samus shows up, uh, where I'm like, ah, this sucks. <laughs> like every time I try to play it. I mean, you can still make the platforming lighter and the action exactly elements yeah. better. So I think there's a point to be made there. I yeah. think I think if you kind of did like uh, getting a tiny bit off topic, but if I was going to do, I think my ideal Smash Adventure mode would take elements of World of Light and Subspace Emissary, where you have a world map like World of Light, knock it down to maybe like a ten-hour adventure, and between the different areas where you're doing kind of spirit battles and boss battles, you right. can have like tight little platforming sections, but not not a lot of them. <laughs> you know, just <laughs> like every now and then, you in, in, put that in. Put like things like break the targets. You can include in little mini games, and and then you're fine. It's just they they try to make like subspace was also too long. We like for a fighting game, you don't need a twenty thirty hour <laughs> adventure mode. Well, it was basically <laughs> like a whole different game. So <laughs> yeah, but yeah, World of Light and Spirits. Eh, like it wasn't wasn't my favorite thing. I, I like that they tried something new. Um, I, it, it, like there were some areas I liked, some areas I didn't, but I, most of all, I agree with you guys on that. Mm. Well, let's talk. Let's move on from the single player and stuff to talk about um, some of the multiplayer modes because I think multiplayer in this game is like really a shining point compared for the whole series. In local, especially. <laughs> yes, local, especially. Yeah, local. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm specifically talking about the Smash mode because I think stuff like Smash Down, Smash Down in particular, is my highlight one because that's my absolute favorite mode in this game. But also I the, the, the I the love three Squad on, Strike. The squad Strike. That's it. I can't ah, remember what yeah. it's called. I like Squad Strike. I think it's really fun when you've got like groups of people because especially like if you've got enough people to have like five teams each, like five people per squad team. Strike, sorry, then it's uh, Squad Strike with uh, Stage Morph is how my friends and I play this game. <laughs> like it's oh, nice. it's it's great and the, the problem is so many people because right now compared to when brawl came out or even when smash Wii U came out um the emphasis on online is so heavy that uh the only time people really think about local multiplayer is like if i'm gonna go to a smash tournament but this game is really made to be played with friends on mm. your couch <laughs> you know yeah that's where is. the <laughs> that's where this game shines and where it is definitely the best smash game because there's so many options to mix it up when you're mm. just playing locally yeah i i what i um used to play a lot on wii u and we talked about it before we played this was smash tour and i know that's a very divisive opinion <laughs> to like smash tour um but what i liked about that is it it forced you to play as characters you usually aren't the best with mm-hmm and I think that Smashdown came the close to give me that feeling of like trying characters for the sake of them. Yeah. And I think that's really nice. Like I would just basically block my friends of using a character they are good <laughs> with. <laughs> that's why I really like Smash um, Smashdown because, like, we I remember in Smash Four it, when you go to locals and do stuff like that, a lot of people just stick. There's always that one guy who sticks on the same character over and over again. Yeah. And yeah. For sure. Like I like the fact that this forces us to change things up, especially when I was in Japan. I was with Push and um, Liam, a guy who works at Q Games, and we we, we were playing Smashdown. And we were doing Smashdown all randoms, so like <laughs> we didn't pick who we want. We would just go with whoever the game gave us and see who came out on top. At, at that point, at that point, it becomes I main random main mode. <laughs> <laughs> well, this this was like right as Banjo Kazooie came out, and so we were all oh, anticipating nice. when nice. Banjo would be <laughs> coming. He came on the very final final match that we had of Smash Now, and I think Push got him in the end, which nice. was a nightmare because Push was really good with Banjo. So, <laughs> 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 but, uh, uh, it, it's, it's just such, so good i think that the amount of options they give you in multiplayer mode local smash is just impressive it's got loads oh, whoops it's got loads of stuff that um 
we people have been asking more for ages, right? Like stage hazard toggles, and you can pick them. You pick the rule set before you go in and pick the stages and all that, so you can really plan. I out kind how of hate it's that. Be. You think? <laughs> I I I. I, I I like that. I I I, 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 do, I, yeah. I I get it, but here's the problem: if I'm playing with friends and I don't, and all of a sudden we're playing with no items, we're like, "Nah, I want to play with items on." Before I could just go in and toggle items. Now I have to go back and create a new rule set or find a rule set with exactly the same rule set. But eh, but maybe we don't want stage hazards on now. Like the fact that I can't turn items and stage hazards on and off easily is really annoying. All right, I, I'll, um, give you, I'll give you that one. Like that—that that was a problem yeah, that fair, online yeah. had, which and we'll talk about online in a bit. But they—they they, slowly began updating with the battle arena, so maybe they'll do it for local. But I do—I do agree on you having to make a, a whole set in rules every single time. It's just a, is is a bit of a with so many kill. options. Like because I have—I literally have one that's like three stock, uh, three stock, no item, final smash meter on. Three stock, no item, final smash meters off. Three stock, stage morph. Like it's <laughs> it's ridiculous. Like, <laughs> mm. uh, I mean, if you once you have it all set up, though, it's pretty easy to click and go forward. Um, I I, I still have uh, issues because sometimes, <laughs> like sometimes, you want to play very specific things, and it's it's a combination of a items, b final smash meter, c stage morph. I think those are are the three. The three things that you can toggle that should be that I feel like you should be able to change easier and hazards, I'd say stage hazards. Hey yeah. man, hey man, if I can lock my people, uh, my friends in without noticing <laughs> that they have to play a game of free stocks and solely gust bellows, I'm okay with that. <laughs> you monster. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and I like I, I like it conceptually, and I like that like the the way I like to play. I can always boot up, you know, because mostly I play um, three stocks, no items, uh, with hazards on. Um, because if I want to play with hazards off, I'll just pick a stage that doesn't have hazards. <laughs> um, like, that's like my, my, my regular setup. Um, and then I have one with items, and then I have one with no hazards. <clears throat> and I like that I, I have those base things. It's just like when I'm actually playing with friends to have to go and, and go back and, oh, what do you want? What do you want? Let's set this up. And, nah, we didn't really like it that way. Let's go back. It's, it's a little mm. too time consuming. I do right. like that you pick the stage before, uh, you pick characters now. I think that's nice. Yeah. You pick characters based around the sort of stage that it's going for, what you think is going to work yeah. best on that. Like, I think my standard setup is three stock, no items, no final smash meter, but stage morph. I like, I re and hazardless. Like, I really like stage morph being the only hazard when it's, especially when it's on random and it can come at any moment. Yeah, like, it's it, it, stage it's morph is fun. is a lot of fun. Um, mm. And I kind of wish I like, and I get it because it'd have to load so many resources, and they're already doing battlefield and and final destination version. Of each yeah, stage. Of every stage. But if they also had hazardless, because there's some stages that I really enjoy the hazards on and some I don't. <laughs> so that's the other thing. Like, um, if I want to play, like, let's say Pirate Ship hazardless mm -hmm. or Rainbow Cruise hazardless, like, there's just some weird ones. And it's not even about a competitive thing, it's just because it offers a different experience. Like, if you mm. do Rainbow Cruise hazardless, that's still not a competitive, competitively viable stage. But it's also you just stay on that one ship the entire time, so that's <laughs> yeah. kind of a fun way to play that stage. It's yeah, different, it feels, you know. Yeah, it does feel like a very different stage. Like it's like a smaller version of Pirate Ship, pretty much. Right. Uh, Big Blue is the same way. You just stay on on the Blue Falcon the entire time. Yeah. So that's like <laughs> an really interesting weird. way, yeah, to play that stage. Um, so maybe I want to do that, but next time I want, and this is when I'm playing more casually. Obviously, I have the ha the hazard off version when I want to be a little bit more quote unquote serious, mm -hmm. but. Sometimes, like, that's fun, but I'd still, like, want to play a uh, board with, you know, like, Arena Ferox with hazards, because it's dumb when you play it without hazards. <laughs> 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 and having to go and not being able to toggle the hazard on and off. And once again, I, I get, I kind of get why they do it, but it's also annoying that it's not, like, a toggle option, like, like regular Omega Battlefield hazardless. Like, that would have no, been idea. Fair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, how about we uh, talk about online then? Like, because <laughs> the online in Smash has always been a really de divisive uh, thing. Everyone always wants it, but it's usually not been very good. Uh, I, however, I, I, was, I will say this straight up: I think it was on Wii U better. Yes, hundred percent. Yep. Uh, not, even, right. not even going to argue that. I'm, I'm, I'm actually slightly. All right, actually, no. Let me hear first. Why do you think it's better? What specific aspect of it is better? I could just start up a battle. Invite my friends and play. Now I constantly have to make have to make an arena battle. Like if I just want to play a match with my friends, 
I could set up a room, invite them, and start playing. Right, okay, so the setup thing, that's, that's what I was wondering right. about, because I think... And, and, a, and as far as actual... I'm concerned, there's actually, there's literally less options now. Like, before, mm. if, I, if I had, I used to do this all the time, I'd have my cousin or one of my friends over, and we would play with local co-op for us, and then we would be able to join a match. You can't do that now. You Two people on the same console yeah. can't join, even in an arena. That's stupid. Because uh, yeah, sometimes I'm with, like, one of my friends, and, I, you know, I'm in my 30s now. I have friends everywhere. So if one of my friends is in town and we're playing, uh, you know, we'll call, we'll text uh, some of our friends be like, do you guys want to smash? And the two of us on one console can't play against two of our other friends. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, now I'll give you that guy then for the setup. Because, like, in terms of actual connection and stuff, I've, this one seems to be, like, a far smoother experience for me than I've seen with the others, and I just tend to play quick play online. So I always just play locally with friends, unless I'm doing something for Source Gaming, in which case it's always a battle arena because of how many people that involves. So I guess I've never really had that sort of same experience that you you two seem to have had with trying to play with friends online. But I will like concede that there are less options this time, and it's really bizarre. It's like. The, the thing I think that really hits me is the lack of online tournaments in the sense that you could set up a tournament. Because, like, the Wii U had that, and people didn't like the Wii U's one because of how different it was to just the regular tournament format. But in this one, then, they've gone back to the original tournament format, but they don't let you make it anymore. Which is just really weird. <laughs> and, like, I feel like I mean, the I mean, Wii U I mean, one is probably it, better. <laughs> with, Wii U, we, with Wii U, it was tied to a Miiverse community. But mm. it still doesn't make any sense, because if you look now at Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, they retained all of the tournament features from that. And you can still make tournaments, but you yeah. can't do on Smash. I think that's weird. Yeah, that, that is weird. Like, the fact that that's removed, despite being a really good feature of the Wii U, Wii U's one, and then they, they've never added it back. The only online tournament they've done is the one where Nintendo sets it up, and you just compete against random strangers. And most strangers. of those aren't really good. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's like, such a bizarre thing to be lacking, and the, that's that's a problem with online. It's got... They, they just went with the go for anyone one instead of having the elite and casual, the four friends for, what, what's it called? Uh, for glory and for, for fun. Glo that's it, for glory and for fun. Like, they've basically swapped that out with regular and elite smash, and you can only enter elite smash if you've done enough battles. But, like, the problem there is you have to set your own rule set, and half the time you just never get the rule set you set <laughs> when you're online. Yeah, but it still comes back to the problems with setup. Like, it, mm. it's it's not very rounded in the way that it should be. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I haven't I haven't played with the arenas since they made the changes, but I, I used to hate it. Just I, I oh. don't know exactly how that, user friendly uh, it is now, but having to change out all of your rules. You can now change your rules, your yeah. rules on the fly if you are the person who made it. That's so that's mean, much better because I remember when I was doing some streams of it. Um, and we had to make, uh, like, I forgot to change stuff, like, I forgot to remove items and stuff, so we'd enter the battle arena, and I'd have everyone would join, and then I'd realise I'd forgot to do this, and he'd have to kick everybody out again. Go get out, yeah, change I, the rules, then set I, I a can't, new password, like I said, and send that to everyone, and it's such I a nightmare. I can't even remember what my, 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 like, some of the issues are I have with it, it's just, it, it, it's like, I just felt like it was so much easier to pick up and play with friends on Wii U. Like, yeah, and the I connection has been about a, the yeah. same for me. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think this, the options in Ultimate are such an inconvenience to the player. Mm. Like for a game that is so much about giving the ultimate experience with all the characters on stage, which are amazing, I just think that having a lesser suit of align options really shouldn't be the case after the successes that and strides that they made in Wii U. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like Smash is always like that, where there's, in some areas, it looks like we took two step forwards and one step back, so it's better than in the last game, but, like, Stage Builder's another example of that, which we can talk about modes in a little bit, where, like, well, yeah, you made some things better, but it still didn't bring everything back from the previous two versions, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well... I think overall, though, I guess overall opinions on Smash Ultimate a year, um, not just from the what was in the base game. Uh, well, let's let. I mean, I, I think we're doing a pretty good job breaking it down about with adventure mode and online and multiplayer. Yeah. Um, I guess the big thing we haven't really talked. I talked a little bit about stages. Is is roster? 
So uh, what's, yeah. what's everyone think of the roster? Well, I mean, From the base yeah. roster. The, yeah, the I mean, base. It's, everyone is here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was fantastic. The base roster. It was like um, yeah. The fact that I even got Young Link back after so many people doubted it is <laughs> going to make this roster ten and, out of ten for me. And every the time. monster, the legend, Pichu. <laughs> like Sakurai right. really went all out and like, hey, you guys want K. Rule? You guys want Ridley? You guys want Ganon to use his sword? Fine, you got it. Like it was so <laughs> much fan service. Um, and, and from all of mm. the polls that we had ran and looked at before, really. Uh, the, I think a lot of the characters that were voted highest in those um, in the Smash Four ballot were veterans. Were Wolf and Ice oh, Climbers yeah. and Wolf, Snake. Roy, Ice Climbers, Snake were usually Snake. the top four, and then obviously yeah, Lucas Roy got in before he was four. announced. Yeah. yeah, and that's that's why I think that they they went so high on bringing everyone back. It's like, oh, that seems to be what people want, um, which is great. And like some of my most played characters in this game are Wolf and, and Young Link and, and Pokemon Trainer and just all of these characters that they brought back Snake. Mm. Um, and they did a great job refining the characters from Smash uh, Wii U. Uh, mm -hmm. Zelda's obviously the biggest example, but everybody has so much polish. Like, uh, you know, Ness and Lucas with uh, their their cameos in their final smashes and the fact that when they use their PK uh, abilities, you see all of the the like kind of geometric patterns that are used to represent attacks in uh, yeah, in the mother games, answers, yeah, yeah, like that stuff. Like there's so much polish on it. Um, I'll say this: like the only thing that you could kind of knock on the roster, and like I don't think it is because they put so much into it, was because they focused so much on on bringing everything here, and because it had such a short turnaround time compared to from when we was developed. Um, we didn't get a lot of the characters that... Like, the one we got was Piranha Plant, is the one that really stands out to me. Those characters that people might not expect are more niche characters. Like, if this was a more traditional Smash game, I feel like people would have been like, well, Waddle Dee would have definitely made it, and Takamaru and Ashley would have probably been promoted. But, like, you, you can't... I mean, we had so much content, you can't really complain about that. But that, I think, is a reason that some people feel like the roster doesn't feel... And once again, like I said, with stages as as fresh, but it's it's really hard to complain with everything we got. <laughs> now I'm just pretty happy about the roster, especially with the characters they announced since that point. Like, yeah, I I was happy with Kenkyo, mm -hmm. was happy with Isabel, with Inkling, for example. Yep. Um, I was oh. thought there was a good mixture in there of new stuff and old stuff, and even the old stuff, most of the old stuff had new quirks to them. Um, yeah, a lot a so, lot of yeah. people kind of forget that the Inklings were newcomers in this game because they were announced so early. <laughs> like, do you ever get that feeling? Like, people, when they when they think about the roster, because once we started actually getting reveals, they they were already kind of out of people's okay. minds. So they're like, oh, we just got Ridley. And I'm like, well, no, you got Inklings. And Inklings were, were huge. And they're a big new IP. And, they, you know, they're super popular. So, of course, they got in. I, I think maybe the problem was ending on Incineroar, which uh, because people had gotten their hopes so high and uh, over Grinch leaks and all sorts of other stuff that they that when it was only Incineroar, people were like, "That's it." I'm like, "We knew we were going to get a new Pokemon, man. Come on." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'm just I'm just pretty happy with the roster, especially with the stuff oh, they've done since then. But uh, mm -hmm. with the base roster, I find myself maining characters I didn't think I would have, because with the <laughs> Wii U version, I was pretty set in my ways. I played a lot of Rob and Dark Pit. <laughs> um, and I'm a bit over the place. Like, I don't really have one main character that I always play as. Um, mm. And maybe yeah. that classic mode helped there also a little bit, bit, but it also helps that most of the characters are pretty easy to get into. Maybe with a few exceptions, like I think that Simon is pretty hard, but I eventually got a hang of him. Um, but like the main character that I play this a lot, and I'm not b gonna believe that I'm gonna say this, is Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I actually really got into Daisy and Peach at the start. I think Daisy more so than Peach. Uh, Pokemon Trainer is the one that I ended up getting the most into, which is really surprising because I never played Pokemon Trainer in Brawl, and I didn't play Charizard at all in um, Smash Four. You and 3DS? Yeah. yeah. It was like yeah. it's mainly Ivysaur. I really like Ivysaur's move set, and then Ivysaur is fun. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. Having the ability to sort yeah. between the three of them, like, I don't use Squirt all that much, but having building up damage with Ivysaur and finishing them off with Charizard, 
feels really nice mm. and like I, I when, really when enjoy I play, using them. Yeah, when I play as Pokemon Trainer, I, I always use all three of them because Squirtle mostly has the speed. Like mm. um, Charizard is is the power, and then. Ivasaur is the middle of the middle ground, so I like all three of them, really, and swapping between them. Um, I like all yeah. three of them, I just always find... I think I prefer Ivasaur's moveset over Squirtle's, and no, usually fair. Ivasaur is fast enough for me, anyway, mm. so I don't mind using them. But I'll swap to Squirtle, like, if, if I get knocked out as Charizard and I come back as Squirtle, I don't change instantly, I'll fight as him for a bit until I'm ready to move on. But like that's like one example of them. I think like they've done Wolf really well in this game, mm-hmm. and mm, they yeah. actually gave changes to Doctor Mario for the first time <laughs> in three the, games. The balance in this game is, and I'm not even talking from a competitive setting. the The balance in this game is 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 just great. And I mean, from competitively too, if you watch uh, Smash Ultimate um, tournaments, like you like you'll see tw- like the top twenty players sometimes won't use the same character, which is. Which is great. I think that's great. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah that's awesome. so good. If only <laughs> but the also, the characters, <laughs> the characters are just fun. Like, there's so many characters that, like, I use Wolf all the time. There's so many characters that are just fun to play as. There's characters that I didn't even like that much in Smash Wii U that now I'm like, like Zelda. Um, like, I use Zelda a lot, um, and like, I don't know. Like, I'm I'm in love with this base roster. There's I, I'm somebody that that really likes all of these veterans. Like I'm so glad characters like Roy are back. Mm-hmm. Uh, I yeah. use some characters echoes more than the characters. I use Dark Samus all the time. I don't. I, I never use Samus, but I really like <laughs> I think, Dark Samus. I think, the, I think what does it for Dark Samus is her float. I think her float is really fun. Yeah, yep. yeah, it's a cool thing. I mean, I, I'm the same. I think I prefer Richter to Simon, Crom to Roy. Uh, Lucina to Mother. Like, yes, I think I do. I think I just prefer the echoes to their mains pretty much. <laughs> well, is it more that, that all of those are more fresher characters than the characters that they're based on? Maybe. Mm. Yeah, but Krom maybe. actually feels different. Like I use both Krom and Roy just depending on because they they, they feel like different characters to me. See, I didn't like Krom at all at the start, of it, and as as it's gone on and buffs and debuffs have all been coming in and changing the characters up, like Krom's gotten better and better for me. I feel like. I feel like yeah. he's gotten stronger <laughs> somehow, even though I'm yeah, sure right. him and Roy are the same. My, my, my top two favorite game series of all time are probably uh, Metroid and Castlevania, so I was super excited about the base roster because I got Ridley, <laughs> I got Dark Samus, I got Simon, I got Richter. I, like, it, 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 it was good. It was very yeah, good. And I still, is, is and I know a lot of people, the Belmonts have kind of fallen out of favor with a lot of people, but I, I still main Simon and Richter. I think they're a lot of fun. <laughs> for, for me, the, my main problem with Simon and Richter is that they are hard to get a handle on. Like, for a more casual player, they might not be the best way to play. I think they're, they're, they're good they're, they're, unless you get your playing somebody. Ways, isn't it? Like, that's how I always uh, use Simon and Richter, using the axe to keep people, and if they get a bit further in, you throw the boomerang at or the cross at them. And with the if... whip's reach and the flames, it's all about... It's, for a big, muscly character, it's about staying away from them as much as possible. Well, it's about yeah, playing like a, a Castlevania bit, game. Bit, you have to, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. have to maximize your, yeah. your reach and not get hit by things. Yeah. It's also a bit more about precision than any other character. Like, it, there's a lot of things that you need to keep in mind with them. Mm. I don't think they're that hard. Um, I'm not... I, I, and, you know, you can either play them well or you can play them spammy. That's how they, that's kind yeah. of how they are. <laughs> that's fair. But yeah, that's fair. It, it's only when I play against, um, like, uh, playing like a, against a nephew of mine who is good with, with Joker and can, like, is good at off-stage play... Like that's when it kind of sucks to play as him because because once you get knocked off once, if you can have somebody that can follow up and, and kind of knock you off the edge, they're not fun to play as. Uh, mm. But like, but they they can they can be fun and if, and if you're good, you're going to be using the whip angles in the air to do all sorts of stuff. So I don't Makes know. Sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I'm a Castlevania yeah. fan, so of course I'm going to be biased. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I also like Castlevania. I, here's the thing: I like most things with games, but it's yeah. <laughs> with with Castlevania, it's. It's very much a with, with those two characters, very much a precision thing. I feel, yeah, uh, where everything is more straightforward and a bit more actiony. But I think that I like that sort of play. But for other people who are not familiar with Smash to play against, it's not fun. <laughs> yeah, the only the only yeah, um, the only character I'm trying to think of the whole roster that like if I'm playing on random and they come up, I'm like, Ugh, is Olimar. And I just for some reason I can play characters that are a little complicated. Like Shulk was one of my mains. Smash 
uh, Wii U, and I play them a lot now. I just, for some reason, I just can't get a hold of it. Olimar's not fun for Olimar, me. Olimar is, is the weirdest one, isn't it? Like, yeah. It's, the right. little quirks that he has are so different from anything else in the roster. I think it's still Rosalina and Luma for me. I can sort of deal with Olimar <laughs> and Alf, the latter of who I will still never understand why he wasn't upgraded to an Echo, but <laughs> whatever. I, 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 I can sort of get my head around them too, but Rosalina and Luma, I just I just can't do it. <laughs> I don't know what it is either, because they're basically... This, you just Luma just does what Rosalina does at a distance, but I guess I'm not good at sort of matching that up and being able to juggle between the two, which is what I think you need in order to hmm. really utilize the character. Because, yeah, it's just... <laughs> I'm terrible with them. Like, really bad. A, a, a character that also has a lot going on, but I got really got quickly the hang-off, was Isabel from Animal Crossing. Oh, I love Isabel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love both the villager and Isabel, but Isabel's great. I think, I think Isabel's way better than <laughs> the yeah. villager for me, honestly. But she doesn't have the tree. And without the tree, I mean... Yeah. What did she go up? There's nothing going for her except for fishing. <laughs> Come on. Oh, the fishing rod is amazing, though. The fishing let me, rod is let amazing. Let me get this straight. Yeah. <laughs> she has snakes. She has snakes landmines now. <laughs> That's <a> special. <laughs> yeah, it's weird how Isabel's such a trap character. Like, yeah. I love that. And I love that so much. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, like I said, the, the, but the roster. There's so much polish. There's, um, you know, really the only disappointment in the base roster. Is uh, is cloud? <laughs> no, it's cloud and his content. Sorry. Oh right, I, mean, I thought you were going to say it was, for me of all the new fighters, the one that's a disappointment is Incineroar. I just don't find Incineroar fun. Yeah, to play. yeah. I can play as okay, but I don't find okay. him very enjoyable. Uh, so Incineroar is, is fine. I just think his bad recovery makes it oh his hard bad recovery is sell. Always, it's so awful. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. he's he's like Sakurai wants to make a wrestling character, and he did. You know, yeah, I, yeah. I, and, I, and I like wrestling a lot, so that's why I like him. But his <laughs> recovery is the baddest part. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, Cloud bad. as a character is still fine. Like he's actually probably better balanced than he was before. Yeah, but... way better. Yeah, yeah, way better. Yeah. But yeah. like, it's just it's such a disappointment to me that Square Enix <laughs> was like two songs. Uh, and, and I know that he has his Japanese voice because of uh, union issues, but still, like he he doesn't have he's the only character that doesn't have an English voice. He has he. It, he has no spirits except for, uh, like his, his in-game render from this game, yeah, which are in-game renders. <laughs> he has two songs. It just ugh. yeah. And on the flip side, we look at maybe I'm looking a bit ahead, but let's talk about Hero. He only Hero only has MIDI songs, yeah, not the proper versions. Yeah. It's, and, and Square Enix, like, so many of their IPs are known for their great music. And and then people on Twitter are like, oh, I want another Square Enix character. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> I want you, you want to pay six bucks for another two songs and one character? <laughs> do, do you, and, and that's the thing, like, even though Disney owns uh, Kingdom Hearts... Uh, I believe that Square Enix would be involved with the music and a lot of the actual code. Yeah, they would. Like, yeah. Yes, they would. They would. Yeah. You would have to go through two companies to get them. Um, not that I actually, I actually think Sora's not not counted out. Uh, but no, he's not. But yeah. If they go Tomb Raider, though, would it be with um, EDOS or with Square? Because it's obviously Square own Tomb Raider, but it's an EDOS made thing. And uh, so, make so the here's game. the thing: like um, EDOS is these days Square Enix Europe. Mm-hmm. Um, and Square Enix Europe does its own business deals regarding to these franchises. Okay. So you would have to go for Square Enix Europe. Okay, so it would be different, a different scenario then. With uh, yeah, that's good. That's what I want to know because it's the same situation with Gex and Tomb Raider <laughs> together. Like <laughs> Gex or Smash. <laughs> how come? How come nobody ever talks about Soul Reavers for Smash? Okay, Soul Reaver was a great game. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's let's move on from the base game and talk about everything that's been added since, because that's obviously stage builder everything. Yeah, we got new <laughs> modes, new characters, and a bunch of new spirit battles. And I suppose the spirit battles are, you know, depending on whether you like them or not. We've had yeah, stuff from enough. Mario, Zelda, Labo, Resident Evil being the most out there. Tetris, of course. I can't believe not a single. Tetris Spirit used the an- the living room from Nintendogs with the falling stuff as the stage. That still blows <laughs> my mind. Huh. I was quite impressed oh, you, with the you, actual you know, ones they used, though. You know, Tetris. if they could add anything for me, I would like to have, like... Remember in Brawl that you could make your own, like, sticker dioramas? Yes. Oh, yeah. 
I wish they would do it with spirits. Yeah, why not? <laughs> that, it would have been nice. It would have been a cool thing to use spirits more for other than just weird enhancements. Yeah. Yeah, like World of Light or Spirit Battles. It's And, and honestly, once you have a couple that are yeah. maxed up, it's not like, oh my god, I hope they add a spirit that has this particular effect, because mm. who cares? <laughs> the, the, well, the, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Talking about online quickly still. There's no way to play Spirit Battles online. No. A lot. Of, there's so many things that you can't do online. That's the thing, is that, like, sta- Stage Morph is great, Squads, we were talking about all these great local multiplayer. You can't do that online. It sucks, because those are some of the best things in the game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, they had to add, like, um, co-op to Spirits later on and stuff like that, didn't they? Like, because when Spirit yeah. Battles at the start only were single player only, and then they added yeah. multiplayer eventually. And I mean, I think that improves it, though. I think doing it with multiple people, even though I've actually never done it with multiple people, makes some of them would make some of them a lot easier, and um, j- just adds more options to do lo- locally with people. Because event matches also had uh, co-op modes as well, which were yeah, uh, for I th- sure. I think yeah. they think they had different missions as well, though. Like, but there's so many mm, mi- yeah. spirit missions this time around. But yeah, with um the new modes that they've added though, where's what home run contest and stage builder are the two main ones, and then tournaments online. But that's whatever. Yeah, and yeah, I I, I like um home run contest is nice to have back, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like <laughs> but especially because it's not there. There's no um oh what do you, what do you call it where there's the the board where you have to do all of the achievement type stuff. What's that called? I can't remember oh, right now. No, no, challenges, just call it challenges. Yeah, the, <laughs> yeah, the challenges, like, yeah. Yeah, because the challenges don't even exist with home run contents because it was added later. Like, that gives you even less of a reason to care about it. Yeah, you know? I kind of wish, I, the fact they've been updating spirits, I kind of wish they'd updated the challenge board as well. Yeah. New stuff. Because there's like, I don't know, I know, the arena, we didn't talk about it basically at all earlier. But all star in this game and then the cruel multi man smash and all that, and now home run contest. None of them are particularly like. I don't really ever go and use them <laughs> at all. Mm. <laughs> like I always find I have more enjoyment in every other mode, but them ones. But it, it, it's nice yeah. to have All Star back. I kind of wish they had added a f- like a boss battles. Like I said, a boss rush mode. It would have been really easy to have in the game, and I don't quite get why they didn't add it. But alas. That yeah, All Star more- is kind of a disappointment compared to literally every other All Star. Like it's okay, but. It's just like it an just endless man smash, man but mode. You, yeah. yeah. Which like, I get I, I don't know, so many characters. Ideally, I mean, the, the Smash 4 one just took way too long to do. But It um, would be cool if they did. If yeah. they, just like classic mode, everyone had their own all-star mode, so you don't necessarily like have to fight everybody. I know that's kind of uh, the point that's... of it, but like... <laughs> I don't know. Like there could have been something. At that point, it's, it's just, basically just classic mode. <laughs> that's true, I guess. Or, or maybe just have like an all-star mode with more breaks in between, with more hearts. And, and who cares? I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think the problem was the length in all-star mode, which is why they started adding so many in like, yeah. per match in Smash Four. But yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think I, I like the modes they added. Stage Builder was better in this one than it was in Smash Four Wii U for sure. I'm you know still what, not convinced uh, it's on the same level as Brawls was, though, but... Speaking we... of DLC and spirits, um, I like the spirit boards in the ad. A little bummed that you can't... that they're, they're And I, I understand, because if you don't have the DLC, you're not going to be seeing, like, Hero appear in your game unless you're playing them online. But it would be nice if they... For future DLC, if they would use... Um... Okay, here's two ridiculous examples. Let's say Ryu Hayabusa was added as DLC, right? Right. And let's say after that, Tracer was added as DLC. And then there was a Genji Spirit battle. They're not going to use Ryu Hayabusa. They're going to use Sheik because they don't use DLC for spirits. Yeah, well, it's because they can't guarantee you have every DLC character. Right, but like... (laughs) I don't know. You have to update your game to play against them online anyways, right? I I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I'm pretty sure the, that character's still in the code, right? You just don't have access to them. Maybe, maybe you do just physically download them, and I'm wrong. I, I haven't actually looked. <laughs> uh, I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, because I feel like that limits it. But the, the base rock is so big that you can basically replicate anything, anyways. But <laughs> yeah. Well, do, uh, do you guys have any thoughts on anything that isn't the character DLC? Isn't the fighter pass? Yeah, stage builder. 
Yeah, go on then. Oh, yeah. Stage builder. Oh yeah. <laughs> you go, you go, Dan. What? You, you say no, what you have to say. Okay, uh, stage builder. Uh, I thought it was okay. Like the options that you have is are okay. Um, I like that you can choose your own music and do a lot more things with it. At the end of the day, it, it still feels lesser than Wii U um, with the amount of stuff that you can do. But it was fine for what it is. Um, what I'm more and more disturbed by are the creations that are put on the <laughs> online section of Smash Bros. <laughs> Ultimate. Here, <laughs> I, I I feel like somehow the more, most robust stage builder we have is still the one in Brawl. <laughs> like, I don't know how that's a thing. Like, uh, uh, it's, it's my same thoughts. It feels like they put more th- thought into that one. I mean, this is definitely better than the Smash for Wii U one. For sure. Uh, Don just disagreed with you. Yeah, I just <laughs> disagreed with really? you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I felt that you had more room to play in within the Wii U one. The Wii U one than... the Wii U one was easier to use the grid. Yeah. I, I can give that, yeah. So here's 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 my, my thoughts on it, is that I'm glad that they started using some Omega backgrounds. Uh, but they took away all of the backgrounds for Wii U and didn't bring any of them back for Brawl. So you still had just, like, what? I don't remember, like, seven? Like, you have such a small number of backgrounds. I don't know. It might be up to, like, 13 or something. But you still, whenever people create stages, you still see the same backgrounds over and over and over again. Like, how difficult would it have been to put 40 different Omega backgrounds in there? Like, enough to get actual, uh, like, actual variety. Because all of these stages look the same. Like, they do. And also, Wii U had more meshes on uh, and textures. So your blocks, there were more texture options on Wii U than there are on uh, Ultimate. Ultimate, that is like, true, the, the, yeah. Yeah, the good thing that Ultimate did, there's two great things. Uh, the layers, and the layers are awesome, and the fact that you could uh, have objects move. So hmm. that was cool, but... Brawl still had the best individual items. They, you know, ice, spikes, uh, just like anything you could conveyor think of. Belts, conveyor belts. Ladders, cannons. Yeah. Yeah. It, they needed to add back items from mm. Brawl, and they needed to bring more backgrounds, and they needed to have all of the texture options from Wii U, and it would have been amazing. But without that, right. it's, it's like, it's cool. I'm glad it's back, but it's still not the you know, ultimate version of Stage Builder. It's it's okay. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah and, and it also, the, it the also doesn't help was. that the creations are put on the internet are not very wholesome. <laughs> no, I mean, but that's some of the best parts. Uh, <laughs> Sakurai <laughs> thinks you can't have uh, Mai and, and Smash. We'll show them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do like the uploading fact of being able to share them all online, especially with the me costumes as well, just because sometimes I'm just too lazy to make the right variant of me. <laughs> <laughs> or make a me on my Switch that uh, I can then add a costume to. So being able um, to download that makes it so much easier to have. <laughs> yeah. I'm one of the few people that thinks they should have done more with the Wii, with the Miis. People are like, they've wasted enough time on them already. Um, and I think they're better in this game. The proportions are better on them. The moves mm-hmm. they replace for the most part are better. Um, mm-hmm. But not... But And I, under, I, I totally understand. I think it was the right decision to get rid of the sizes because that creates a problem online and in tournaments and other settings because you don't know how the Miis are going to play. Uh, that being said, the different sizes did add some variety. And, like, if you could... With any other game, fighting game that has a creative fighter, you're able to change your taunts. You're able mm-hmm. to change your victory animation. Uh, do it, doing those two things would have gone a long way to making the Mii something that I liked. Uh, they're okay now, um, and I like the costumes, but it's just it's not enough variety. And I, I, I do feel like I would have been okay with them adding even more special move variation because the fact that the brawler character doesn't have a fireball is ridiculous. Because how are you <laughs> supposed to make any fighting game character <laughs> like you know <laughs> without that, that. Is true no hadouken what's going hey, on with hey that? man hey man i just play a sans from undertale i don't know what these me characters are <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it w- I hope it'd be nice to have to be able to for like me gunner and me sword have the sword and gun be separate things so you can swap them around so that you yeah, can and, like, change I... up the vari- variants on that i know Bra- brawler doesn't have one unless you want to do gloves or something but I, right. don't, I don't think that should really be a hindrance to affecting the other two, personally. Yeah, like and like, I feel like the best example of it is Gunner's Up Specials. Uh, all three of them do very different things. Uh, but they also look almost exactly the same. Like, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> 
I, I like the Miis. I, uh, I, I agree. I mean, there are more they could do for them to make them, uh, to, to give you more options for customization. But I, I think part of a hindrance is like the Switch in general is really uh, obnoxious to make actual Miis on. <laughs> And yes, I just can't be able to make the full me every single time. No, so yeah, that's why that's, I just I, I just that download them. Issue. <laughs> that's why I, I, prefer I do. To download them. Yeah. Well, that, that's that's more problem that 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 the Switch created than Smash Brothers, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, in general, I think that even though they give you options to use an icon on Switch with a me, you can still play as me in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, you can still play as me in Smash Brothers. They've hidden the me so much that they almost want to bury him, but then they realized, oh shoot, we still put them in video games. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, they still have their place. I know they're not the center. It's so weird because on one hand, it seems like they want to get away from the me, uh, the me and we branding so much, but then they remember like, oh, we should do something like Rank Fit Adventure. <laughs> It'll be, yeah. it'll be a big hit. These like, aren't in Ring Fit Adventure at all, except for yeah. you know, the I one you have as your icon. So, <laughs> so yeah, it's it's a little weird. But I, I mean, I guess we are talking about Smash post release, which is why I, I kind of wanted yes. to talk about the Mews a little bit. I do like the Me costumes. Um, I like that like Goemon got in. Uh, yes. mm-hmm. I'm a little upset that Goemon came in and they had his music and it didn't come with a costume and then Sans came in a minute later with the music. <laughs> I wish they would do that more. Like throw a music track in. I um, think they should, because to be honest, I, I, I can 100% guarantee the Sans me costume is the most sold. Oh, of course. And, and a lot of it's because it's Sans and he's popular, but it's also yeah. because I, I probably wouldn't have bought it if I didn't get Megalovania. I'm yeah. like, yeah, no, 100%. I'm a sucker um, for extra content. That the same thing happened with the Inklings. Like, I got the, um, when I bought the Inklings one in Smash for Wii U, I primarily did it so I could get the Inkling trophy. <laughs> yeah, I and I wish, them all. I, I wish that you could play. Because we have so much music that's good music. You have Monster Hunter, you have Undertale, that's in the um, miscellaneous. miscellaneous. But then the stages you can play that on, most of them suck. Um, or, like, don't fit thematically, you know? Yeah, I, I <laughs> think... Pl- I'm, I gonna think play, I'm not going to play a song, uh, I'm not going to play a Bait and Kaito song on a Tamadachi life stage because that's weird. <laughs> yeah, like, I do so you end up using think that they e should have <laughs> they, sh- they should have allowed a bit more customization with the music in that regard. Like something I still haven't finished doing was to go through the music and actually set them appropriately so that yeah. only like Super Mario Brothers music appears in the Super Mario Brothers stage as an example. But you're right in the miscellaneous ones there's so many good tracks that you could see what stage they would work really well on. But you right. can't place them on there because you're limited to like the eight miscellaneous stages. I, I think what they should do is, and they already did it now that it's by franchise. But now, like those Golden Sun songs aren't available on the stages that fit better for them. They're in miscellaneous. Yeah. Like um, all, all, all the RPG ones like that have to go on Find Me basically because no yeah, other exactly. Stage it's so fits weird. Them at all. <laughs> like it should have been um, where when you're setting it up for how songs appear you, it should only be by franchise but i think that you should be able to just go and pick any song if you're doing a one-time match because they do that like in classic mode like i would love to play on pirate ship with gangplank galleon because oh yeah yeah for sure yeah, yeah. That'd be and really they cool. do that in classic mode but you can't do that yourself so why not that's like a limitation that i'm like i i, I wish wasn't there um, yeah, you should just be able to set up like have a, a set amount of spaces that are like, let's say, ten spaces that you can just customize yourself for each stage based on the entire soundtrack. Yeah, like cause I understand why they wouldn't want every single song attached to every single stage, and how much of a logistical nightmare that is to for someone uh, to I, go I like, through. And <laughs> you know, I like how we went into me costumes and immediately went like for ten minutes of music. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> well, this came as the best yeah, soundtrack of any game ever, uh, minus <laughs> all that's, the Square Enix stuff. That's but sadly, it. it wasn't it wasn't uh, nominated for the Game Awards of best soundtrack. I know, well, well, I know. Well, all these all these SNK songs getting done in. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> And this and the music, which uh, I mean, do you have any do you have any thoughts on the me costumes, Dan? Any specific thoughts? Uh, yeah, I like them. I buy most of them when they come out, so I uh, play a lot now with the ones from Samurai Showdown or what have you. Ah, nice. um, every single time, I just try to make me around them and then have them ready to go when I want to play as them. I um, did, I want more that ha- that are like Sans that. Uh, I alter the model a little bit and have full face covering. Like uh, I'm, I'm super surprised we don't have Shovel Knight with Strike the Earth. Like that would sell so much. 
Mm. Yeah, it would. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think the ones with masks are generally better. I think the Sans one is a really good one, and that's why so many people almost treat it like he's in the game himself. Where, like, for the human characters like Goemon, I get why you wouldn't do that. You just have the hair. And that and that and that's fine, I think. But I think if they go forward doing stuff like Shovel Knight, for example, should just have the helmet and it should be blacked out so you can't actually see mm-hmm. the Mii's face underneath it. And yeah. like, if they, if they did a Hollow be... Knight one, for ex- as an example, they could have it's the same thing. The Hollow Knight's head blacked out and make it just a Mii sword fight mm-hmm. with the needle. Yeah. I think... And, um, and like, like Proto Man and... Because uh, even that helmet, it's not quite perfect, but the dimensions and the way that helmet is is close enough. Like Proto Man and Sans are like my default Mii gunners right now because mm-hmm. they're both really good. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, I, I just I want to see me costumes. I want to see. I, I I like them when they, they bring new series like they did with Goemon into Smash. Guys... Like if they do a Capcom character, if there's a, a fighter coming up and it's not say Dante or Phoenix Wright, I'd love both of them to get in as me costumes. Like I Phoenix can't believe Wright Alucard is not a me costume yet. <laughs> like Alucard sword fighter seems like such a, a no brainer. Do you guys think that we're gonna get all of the remaining uh, third party? Me fighter costumes like I guess I'm missing Namco and Capcom. I mean, I think I right think now. we'll get the I think we'll get the Bamco ones back. If assuming Lloyd and he actually aren't playable and are just back as me costumes, then I think we'll get them. The only ones I'm not sure about at this point are the other Mega Man ones. To be honest, right? I think Monster right, Hunter is yeah. going to come back. Like, yeah, at Monster some Hunter point. feels like it should come back at some point. But Mega Man EX and Mega Man X, I, I, I'm just um, not convinced they're, they're going to come back. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. Oh, let's speak of, <laughs> yeah, speaking of characters, yeah, let's talk about the Fighter Pass and Piranha Plant, because that's, of course, been the big hype things all, all year to keep the game going. Like, I, I primarily jump back on and I play a bunch of online every time a new character or a spirit battle has come in. And starting with Piranha Plant at the beginning of this year, we've had him, then Joker, then Hero, then Banjo, and now Terry. And I, I think, like... Each one of these characters is really unique and different from the last one. Yeah. And that's kept it all really fresh. Like Piranha and Plant most, is... and most of the paid and most of the paid characters each serve an audience, I feel. Yes. Yeah, they're all different genres and well, Joker and Hero are both RPGs, but they're very different sort of RPGs. Like yeah, right. they have different Hero bases, is the, really. the medieval fantasy and Joker is like this, you know, this the weird modern take on RPGs that we like we like to see in Final Fantasy and well, Shin Megami Tensei and Persona and Pokemon and all sorts like that. So I, I think they they they, ha- they have very different themes. I think that's the best way to describe it. But yeah, I, I'm I like all of them so far. Some are some are more complicated, some like Banjo and Piranha Plant are pretty simple. Joker is pr- mm-hmm. and Hero are pretty complex. Terry well Terry's possibly the most complex, but I actually think he's my favourite of all the DLC characters so far. I really like using Terry. Ter- Terry just feels nice. He feels like a proper fighting game character mashed into Smash Brothers. Yeah. And they kind of... I feel that they did a good job with um, Ryu and Ken, but they did a far more job with, with Terry. Oh, and You agreed. can see that Sakurai really loves King of um, SNK <laughs> yeah. as a uh, company. Mm. No, because uh, Ryu and Ken... I-, I like Ken over Ryu... But I, uh, I don't know. I've never really gotten into them and played them properly. But Terry instantly yeah, showed up to yeah. one of my main fighters in this game. Well, there's also multiple layers of attacks that you have to deal with as Terry and learn, mm-hmm. and which makes him also very rewarding to play as him. Uh, with the regular attacks, the the more specials, the <laughs> close to the edge characters <laughs> um, attacks, and then also the final smash. There's so many little things and com- other combinations that um, if you know them. Um, it, it really rewards you well. Yeah. And I, I think that Terry is such a tremendous well made character. Yeah, I, I agreed. I, I, I like Terry. I like I like Hero. Um, I was always gunning for Hero to get in. I really like the whole uh, Hero, Hero and Hero battles are the best. They are literally <laughs> the best. <laughs> who can whack first? Who can whack second? That, you know, we're talking about Spirit Board before. That um, Hero's like 100% my go to. In, in spirit board because sometimes you can uh, RNG yourself to an immediate victory with him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with fair enough. With a well-timed whack, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, it's so fun. Banjo, I like Banjo-Kazooie. I, 
I, I, I enjoy playing as them, I just don't think they're as fun as the others, and uh, Joker's probably my least favourite DLC character. Yeah, Joker, like, first of all, I'm not a big Persona fan, I've never played any of the games, but that doesn't stop me from enjoying characters, but there's just something about his playstyle that I don't hate it, I just don't find it particularly exciting. I, I, I Joker is my favourite character out of the bunch, but mostly oh. also, I'm a big Persona guy, but at the same time, um, what they did with his, like, a selection of attacks. They feel so faux fast paced and fun. And for mm -hmm. me that's really fun to play. Yeah, I don't know. Like they, I said, it's something about speedy. him and my playstyle just doesn't doesn't mesh. Yeah, I think I, it's I just, that for me. Like I think he's he's a bit too fast for me. I think I prefer methodical characters like Terry. Like Terry's even slower than Ryu and Ken is. But yeah, Terry's my I, favorite I, I of the that. bunch to play as. <laughs> I also like that mm. we haven't talked once about Piranha Plant. We already forgot. <laughs> you, you mentioned him. And that's then mo that that's mostly because Piranha Plant is a very simple character. Like, yeah. Both in design and attacks. I, um, When it came out, I definitely played as him a lot. But now we're in December, or almost no, almost December, and I completely forgot about him. His specials are wacky, though. He was, you know, he has a he has a poison cloud. He has that uh, that weird ball spike ball anti air. He's he's an interesting character, but he's also kind of just like the game's WTF character, and he very much just feels as a bonus character. And I think most of us think he probably was supposed to be just like a base character yeah. that was held out for DLC. <laughs> Yeah, he definitely yeah. feels that way. Honestly, honestly, when we look back at like the rest of the DLC and the almost the entirety of the Fighter Pass, I think they were way more exciting than Piranha Plant ever was. Yeah, agreed. Um, yeah, and, and I'm sure that there were some discourse about characters, and there were sure it was. There were sure it was. <laughs> but once again, once what, what I want to say about the characters that they have done so far in Fighter Pass, and we will likely hear about the fifth character at some point very soon. Yeah, it, well, by the time um, this video has come out, because it's been on the anniversary, it's likely that the Game Awards will have already happened, so we may have already know who the fifth character uh, is. No, the Game Awards are a week later, I think. Oh, are they a week later this time? Never they're mind. They're on the Forget 12th, I believe. Yeah. Oh, okay, they're, yeah. so they're later this year. Oh, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> never mind. Yeah, <laughs> never mind. Uh, what I want to say is, like, every what I said before is that every of these characters serve an audience. Mm. Um, and I, I think they've done great to prevent a mixture so Benji kazooie is mostly for the west there are japanese people who obviously will love Benji kazooie too but he's made by with a western audience in mind mm -hmm. um with dragon quest it's a no-brainer because it's the most selling franchise in japan mm -hmm. um joker is a character that persona it got an uprise in the west over the last couple of years in addition to always having a steady audience in japan it was about time to have a Persona character in Smash, I think. Yeah, it's like the big, um, one of the big new series, and in the same way that Nier Automata kind of was. Well, it's not really a new series, it's been there since the... I guess it's... Right, but its popularity it's like, is new. Its popularity <laughs> yeah, is yeah. new, Persona 5 yeah. was the... It, Joker himself is like a new character, because... Yeah, I, yeah. I, Persona, I say, Persona really hit its stride in Persona 3 yeah. and 4, that's when people started really... I will say this though: if you never played Persona Two before, that's a hell of a trip. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard good things about Persona Two. I am. Tempted uh, there, to... There's some WTF moments in there that you wouldn't believe. Um, What's funny is but... uh, a Shadow Link from our staff was really salty about that because he wanted uh, Shin Megami Tensei rep, and he's all like, "Well, yeah, instead of Persona, there goes yeah. that." <laughs> I guess that works. Yeah. Um, and th then we have Terry and. Ter I think SNK still has a very popular and passionate audience in South America. Right. No, oh, it does. Um, oh, it really does. <laughs> yeah, and, and still a lot of it in Asia. So I think that serves that audience also pretty well. So I think, honestly, oh. they've done really well with the DLC of making, at least at some point, someone happy. And um, yeah. that's what makes me really intriguing about the fifth character, because I don't know who is there left to please with me. another character. Me, me, I'm happy about anything. <laughs> no, I'm just looking for have... a bigger audience than just one person. <laughs> well, no, what they're looking for are late stage millennials that are really into retro gaming. That are like, who are these characters? I guess I like Terry, Terry and Dragon's Quest, but not really my thing. <laughs> you just want Ryu Hayabusa. You want a exactly. No, you want. On an 80s platforming Just character. an 8-bit platformer. <laughs> and, and, and then, here, here's my other thing. Uh, after, they already announced that after the Fighters Pass, there are going to be more characters. Um, yes. We don't know how many. We don't know how much. Mm -hmm. um, uh, up to 10. At least. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> At but least I think one. it would be funny 
if they bring another WTF character immediately after Friday Pack 5, I think that would be the funniest thing in the universe. Uh, that'd be interesting. It repeats everything. <laughs> like, <laughs> five more characters plus one bonus character is just what the fuck out of nowhere. <laughs> that walrus guy from Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta have a... The Nintendo 3DS sound parakeet. <laughs> oh, you know who I want? I want, um... What was the name of the little monitor from the Nintendo Land? <laughs> oh, uh, Monita. Oh, Monita. Yeah. <laughs> the Monita would be great. I was thinking of the uh, blue-haired girl that appears on the Switch News tab. Ooh, how about Ring Fit? <laughs> <laughs> Ring Fit would be actually really fun. I'm not gonna lie. The Trinity Ring Fit this actually would actually be an amazing character. I think so, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm actually yeah. wondering if we're gonna get any first-party characters or not. Um, they should. They absolutely they should. should. They, I think they were dedicated with delivering like new franchises with the yes. Fighter Pass, and now Agreed. that it's still... That's now broken open with more fighters. I think at least there should be a first party character in there. Yeah. Well, I, with new series, I feel like we still could get Astral Chain as a thing. I mean, you were saying about what sort of thing they tackle for Fighter Five and potentially doing a Nintendo series for just the Nintendo fans after doing four third party series might be the way to sort of wrap that up. And mm, <laughs> and I, I, maybe. I don't know. At, I, a, at, at the same time, at the same time, I think they might want to conclude the way that they started with just really interesting third party characters and then bring it back with like it, the additional characters to come after the fighter pass we really don't know what their plans are i mean i i, I honestly the fact that we haven't seen that gino b costume makes me a little <laughs> suspicious i don't know if we're gonna get him or not but the way that they've been doing fan service this time around makes me think it's it's i mean plausible. I, I i still think he could be like a bonus character like piranha plant like the sixth yeah the sixth one uh, but it depends though. if they're going to do Although, another. If, if we're talking about suspicion, pass, we haven't seen do... we haven't seen anything from Astral Chain, and we haven't seen anything from Fire Emblem Three yeah. Houses, which is both really weird. <laughs> yeah, because well, we got spirit from everything else. Pretty much. <laughs> to be fair, I would rather have another Xenoblade character. Oh, same, a hundred percent. I mean, Cosmos. Yeah. I mean, Cosmos is kind of cast. And, 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 and I say this as somebody who uh, the three franchises that he mostly cares about are Pokemon, Animal Crossing, and Fire Emblem. <laughs> but I say, but as I also say this as somebody who wants to see more variety in the games, and not having somebody of X of two there seems off. You know yeah. what? With the timing now, I actually think Fiora is more likely than Rex and Pyre <laughs> or anybody from Xenoblade Chronicles Two. Because the remake, coming because out. that's a new I mean, game that's X, coming out. X is also possible. Yeah, it is. I, I, I think Elmer yeah. would still be really good. I, 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 I yeah. still think with Xenoblade. Because it's like you've got the main RPG ones of Chronicles, its remakes, and two, and then you have this weird sort of open world X series that's a bit more. Uh, it depends on. I mean, they could also just completely throw us for a loop and throw a character of Torna in there. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> um, they could. Yeah. Torna. I think a Torna character is more like. I mean, I would rather a Torna character than Rex and Rex Pyro. Pyro. Me too, <laughs> to actually. I think Torna's. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. It's weird, but I think Torna's kind of a. A better game. <laughs> yeah, yeah sure. it is. It is that's a better not, game. That's another weird opinion. That's actually <laughs> that's just actually, fact. Yeah. It's a better game. <laughs> yeah. it, it's like five times. It's like five times shorter, but it has much better combat and has better side quests. It brings back the actual affinity tree and everything. I love it. But uh... yeah, it's a good game. It's a very good yeah. game. Yeah. But yeah, it will be interesting to see what they're going to do next, and we'll likely see yeah after the anniversary, a week later, what maybe the fifth character is. Who knows? Right. Yeah. The, maybe, the thing maybe. that's weird is that we don't know. Are they going to do? Two more characters or ten characters? Are they going to do more fighters passes or things are just going to be, you know, Freeform, whatever? Are they, are yeah. they going to include echoes with some characters? Because we have such little understanding of what they're going to do, it's hard to really guess, you know. Well, or they already used plural. They said more fighters in development, so at least it's going to be two. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you say that you say you, you see. My count to that is Japanese doesn't do a difference between singular and plural, so right. But it it's... was an official Nintendo <laughs> translation, and they know what. True, but they've what also hell done that it. Would have they, they've also they done it slightly it. wrong before in the past. I mean, I expect it to be more than one. I don't think well, they'd it, make. I don't a, think they would say. Direct, so they kind of have to do this right. Again, though, I feel like they have done said things wrong in official Nintendo directs before. Especially, I remember with Smash for Wii U, they definitely did, and it confused people. But um, the one thing that does make me say is at least two is the fact that if it was just one, I think they would have just announced it at the end. And yeah, they would have time. Well, yeah. one more bonus character. So, yeah, yeah, like when the fifth one got announced. So, and, and yeah. Sakurai literally said, "I want to keep working on this until I can." So, <laughs> that makes me think that. that there's going to be at least, a, like, in my opinion, I think there's at least going to be another fighter's path worth of characters. That's that's what I think. Yeah, fighter's path. I hope worth. so. I really hope so because it it seems like he 
seems to be in a good place right now. He seems to be happy with how everything is coming out and still wants to work on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, he said it, before. It definitely, that yeah, it definitely helps easier. a combination of things because it's he got so many rewards over the last year, and that's cool too, but it was also like the last assignment that his personal friend, Isotori Iwata, ever assigned to him. Yeah. Um, so I, I think it's a special project for him, and I think it's the last project to him that is made in this sort of setting. Mm-hmm. Um, so he definitely wants to create the best game that he can. I think that's something very, very, very admirable about that. No, I, I agree. I think the, yeah. the more he keeps it up, I mean, because he also, he also likes working with lots of different content creators and he likes working with lots of different series that he enjoys and this also allows him to do that this allows him to reach out and work with the dragon quest team the snk get the team uh obviously still up with bandai namco all the time and really mm-hmm. like get to just jump into these different universes that not that he normally wouldn't be able to touch if he was working on just end of regular game yeah, yeah. so and, and like i was mentioning before he he said uh, that the Smash Wii U DLC development was so much easier for him than the base game. <laughs> so I, it, it's it's got to be not it's got to not be as hard <laughs> as it as it was beforehand. Yeah, so. definitely. Uh, so all right, and now let's start wrapping this up because we've been talking for about an hour and fifteen minutes now. So overall, it's been a year since Smash came out. What are your thoughts on the game compared to other Smash games? What are your thoughts on it like since release? Do you think the game has improved in your mind since release with all the mm-hmm. DLC and all the little changes? Let's start there. Don, do you think the game's gotten better? Yeah, the game has absolutely gotten better. Especially with the DLC, I got more excited for it. Especially with the combination of characters that they chose. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm very excited to see what they're going to do next with the fifth character and the characters that come beyond it. Um... I think overall the game's just really fun. Like the amount of characters that really were there were fairly entertaining, and adding on top of that is just amazing. Um, I still think there are still strides to be made with the online. I still think that not every single option is there as it should be. Um, World of Light is a big yeah, whatever for me, but it's it's something I will likely never return to either way. Um, Spirit Battles is something that I enjoy, um, just apart from World of Light, and it's still really fun. And I think like the best way to play like alone is still the classic modes and even though i wish there were more bosses and maybe a different bonus stage now and again it's clearly the best classic mode i've put in the game so it, I, I like it a lot it's it's a really fun game mm. um and i still play random match with friends ever so often and i think that makes this game totally worth it <laughs> <laughs> and what about you spazzy um, I think the game has improved. I, I think one of my biggest, as I mentioned earlier, one of my biggest peeves, I don't know about peeves, but disappointments maybe about the base game was just not enough stages that felt fresh. And I feel like each DLC character adding a stage has helped alleviate that a little bit more <laughs> because I, I do like all of the DLC stages and um, and they're actually designed in a way that I feel like their hazardless versions are actually pretty good too. Um, like I love King of Fighters Arena. I I, I oh, think um, overall stage. the game is great. The roster is amazing, and it just keeps getting more amazing. Online leads leaves a lot to be desired, but <laughs> you know yeah. what are what are you going to do there? Um, <laughs> hopefully it gets a little bit better. Um, I'm not a huge fan. I'm not a huge fan of World of Light, but I also don't hate it, and uh, I do like that they keep adding new spirits. So overall, I'm, I'm happy with the game, the direction of the game, and I'm just you know maybe it's be being greedy, but I don't want this DLC to stop anytime soon. Keep giving me stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think my opinion reflects um, both of your guys. Is uh, the game has just gotten better and better uh, as it goes on. Uh, like I said, I really enjoy them keeping the spirit battles up and the. The how that's increased in frequency as the years gone on. I think it's more incentive to come and return to the game outside of just playing with friends. The DLC right. options have all been really, really good, and I've enjoyed every character so far, like to, to varying degree, varying degrees. And it's also been like big fan favorites. The fact that I finally got Banjo Kazooie in Smash is amazing, and I think like compared to the base roster, they've added new stuff. They've fixed some of the online settings with the battle arenas recently. Uh, but I, I still think the ba- I, th- I still think online is fine, but it's not obviously not my go-to mode. I'd much rather be playing local because local is just so amazing. I'm actually impressed they haven't touched it at basically at all. 
since the game's <laughs> come out. And, uh, they've only just added to the single player. And that's uh, been good. They, the stage builder and the home run contest. I just, I'm surprised that some modes like Boss Rush just haven't come back when it feels like such an easy thing to do and they don't seem intent to add any more new modes now. Yeah. So, which is it's a bit weird. It almost feels like Home Run and Stage Builder were meant to be for the base game, and that's the only. They just had a bit. They just didn't have time to finish it, but that's the only reason why those modes came back. And yeah, World of Light. World of Light. I can see I've done it once. Probably won't play it again. I enjoyed it when I played it, but um, I'd much rather just do the Spirits and the Local and the Classic mode, which I feel is like the best one the series has done. But overall, I think yeah, right. really yeah. enjoyed it. And I, in my opinion, it's the best Smash game. Uh, what about you? Of guys course. On that? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No, no doubt. <laughs> no. Good. I'm glad we're all on the same uh, page. All now. it needs is a break the target maker. That you can share online. <laughs> break the target maker. They should have just put break the targets on the regular stages. I don't understand. Like, is that been the easiest thing? <laughs> and then you could yeah, have I don't know. buried up for that. Alas. Oh, but well. but no. But like, I, I, here's yeah. the thing. It I, we didn't even touch upon this, but the way the game actually feels and plays is great. I remember when they used to talk about Smash Wii U being this mid-ground between Brawl and Melee, and it wasn't. It was still more more Brawl. refined and a little bit faster, but it felt more like Brawl. Like, this game, I feel like, while still a little bit floatier and slower, is, is definitely more balanced with a competitive mindset, and it is it is much more that halfway point between Melee and, and Brawl. It feels more like that. Mm-hmm. And it feels good to play. It's definitely my favorite Smash to play. And once again, I'm not a heavy competitive player. But just picking up and playing it, it feels good. Um, and it's right, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. fun game. Mm-hmm. Great roster. Great stages. Best Smash. Right. 10 out of 10. Would Smash again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, then. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for listening to this long discussion on Smash's birthday. Now go out and play some Smash to enjoy the rest of the day. But first, Don, why don't you let the lovely people know where they can find you? You can find me on the Twitter, which is at Nintendan, that's N-A-N-T-N-D-A-A-N. Um, it almost seems like I rehearsed this, but yeah. <laughs> uh, but um, I uh, do stuff for Go Nintendo, Nintendo World Report, Game Explain, uh, that sort of places. Uh, I mostly talk Nintendo stuff, unsurprisingly. Also do an eShop podcast called eShop Action Committee. You can find the Twitter at eShop Action. Uh, where I post a eShop game that I find really good every single day. Uh, we do a monthly podcast about uh, the games that came out that past month. We're slowly coming up on Game of the Year, so I have to think about how we're going to do that too. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun just squirming around the eShop and trying to find the best games that are out there, which isn't an easy thing yeah. if you've ever looked on the Switch eShop. I'm going to say, it's good that someone is doing that. Someone's going to give these indie games notice, because sure, Nintendo surely isn't. Yeah, they, they have to kind of decline it over the last year, I feel. But yeah, <sighs> that. And you can all find us, obviously, at All Source Gaming. Me, personally, at Mr. Nintendo and Spazzy over at 8bits underscore Spazzy. So, make sure you, of course, subscribe to the channel, hit the like, that bell, because YouTube always loves that bell to let you know that other videos have come out. And if you obviously really want to support us, there's a lovely Patreon down, link down below which every little bit helps to keep us going, keeps the website up, keeps us working on new translations and hosting more streams and talking more about Smash, everything that I know you guys love. So with that, thank you all for listening, and always remember to return to the source.